From Galactico to rapper to healthcare worker, Royston Drenther's career has been anything but predictable. He looked set for stardom, but the pitfalls of fame were too much for the man that once told David Moyes to F off. Born in Rotterdam, Royston became the man of the house at just three years old when his father passed away. Raised by a single mother in a rough environment, he had to put on a brave face. Ik ben gewend, ik ben gewend geweest altijd een soort bepaalde soort image naar buiten te brengen en ik denk dat het ook heel veel te maken heeft met gehad waar ik in ben opgegroeid, waar ik vandaan kom en daar was het. Als je niet hard bent, ben je eigenlijk. He made his way through Feyenoord's youth system and into the first team, making 29 appearances for the club. But his breakthrough came in the 2007 UEFA European Under-21 Championship victory with the Netherlands, where Royston was named the player of the tournament, and it didn't take long for several big clubs to come sniffing. After speaking to both Barcelona and Real Madrid, Feyenoord accepted a 14 million bid by Los Blancos, and the 20-year-old's life was about to change drastically. I am a god. Hurry up with my damn massage. From living in a small apartment with his mother to a multi-million dollar chalet, Royston was living the dream, and it got even better after scoring a worldie in his debut for the club. He was untouchable. I know that I rond my 25 wedstrijd heb geroepen van dit gaat nooit veranderen. Begrijp je? En toen was ik in een fase van mijn leven dat ik dacht dat ik dat ik eigenlijk dat ik God was. Begrijp je? Het voelde ook zo. Je weet toch? Voor mij voelde het zo. Despite finding himself surrounded by some of the biggest names in football, the young Dutchman quickly settled in and became fast friends with his teammates. And by Real Madrid was it op een gegeven moment van. Eigenlijk vanaf het begin was ik was nummer 15, Guti was nummer 14. Hij had gelijk die, die hand om ons heen gedaan. Mij snijder dus. Maar kunnen druk, willen jullie plezier, jullie zijn met mij. Guti was cool with me straight away. I developed a good bond with Rubinho soon after I joined. Sometimes I would go to his house, where he converted his basement into a mini nightclub. You can see how this dream started to unfold. He only managed one other goal for the club, with Royston himself saying, I wasn't ready to be a pro. I loved women and partying too much, and you can't combine that with football. The arrival of Marcelo in 2009 saw his playing opportunities limited, and he was loaned out to Hercules in 2010. Royston Drenthe, hence the whistle. Drenthe looking to step oh. over the ball. Oh dear, he's tackled himself first and lost out to Messi, and he's not even able to bring Messi down. Following relegation and a falling out with the club's management, he was sent out on loan again, this time to Everton. While showing some signs of promise in England, the winger fell out with Everton manager David Moyes after turning up late to a team meeting before an FA Cup semi-final. Moyes told him to F off, and Royston returned fire. There was to be no Madrid homecoming as his contract expired in 2012 as he was left to find a new club. We had some wrongings at Everton as well, and I think those are the ones that, that stood out more than anything. Like, in comes Royston and like, rolls Royston to the training ground, balls in with his shoes untied, he gets He's having to run the perimeter of the, of the training ground because he, he's always late. His eyes are half open. He, it's like, and I'm thinking, what are you, you're just at Real Madrid. What are you doing here? This is weird, man. He, he ends up coming to the training ground in the middle of the night with like friends and they're in the hot tub. And then, <laughs> it's just like, no. you're just thinking like, you're at the wrong club here, mate. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is the real one, baby. I could only go with Pika because I had only pieken meegemaakt in de loop der jaren, snap je? Dus ja. toen die dames bij mij kwamen, ja, toen was het eventjes, uh, toen wist ik niet hoe ik mezelf moest terugvinden, snap je? Ja. From Spain, Drenthe next found himself playing in Russia, as Alani of Vladikavkaz pulled off a surprise signing. While Drenthe did score a hat-trick across his six appearances for the club, his stay would be a short one, with Reading luring him back to England in 2013. He'd last just one season there, with Sheffield Wednesday swooping to sign him on loan. Once again failing to make an impression, Drenthe then drifted between short stints in Turkey and the United Arab Emirates, before calling time on his career in late 2016 to focus on rapping. The then 29-year-old released a number of singles over the following years as he found happiness away from football. After 18 months away from the game, Drenthe was convinced to put the microphone down and lace up the boots again, as he signed for then second division Dutch side Sparta Rotterdam. The one-time Netherlands international would prove key for the club as they secured promotion, with Drenthe scoring five times and contributing six assists, despite being deployed primarily at left back. At 32, he was back in the top flight, but wasn't keen on the stresses of first division football, and happily signed for third tier club, Kozak and Boys. While he still trains with Kozak and Boys, he has turned a new page in his life, and his focus is now on his work in healthcare, which has him working with dementia patients. 
no longer living in the fast lane. His outlook has changed completely. Ik zeg dat ik nog vrij zoekende ben, zeer zeker naar mezelf. Okay, je hoeft niet altijd stoer te zijn. Je kan ook gewoon af en toe een stapje terug doen en laat maar je lieve kant zien. While his journey as a footballer saw a steady decline over the years, his journey as a person has seen him go from strength to strength. Thanks for watching.